Welcome to our YouTube channel Kit Classroom. In this video, we will learn about angles. Let us draw an angle. Two different rays are drawn from the same origin. That is ray AB and ray AC. So, we define an angle as an angle is the union of two rays having the same origin. Here, the two rays are called the sides or arms of the angle that is side AB and side AC and the common origin is called the vertex of the angle that is vertex A. Now to name the angle we start from the point C then to the vertex A and then to the point B. Thus we name the angle as angle CAB or you can also name it as angle BAC. Here we have an important note regarding the sides of the angle. We can take any side as an initial side and then the other side is the terminal side. Example, if side AB is taken as an initial side, then side AC is the terminal side. Or if side AC is taken as an initial side, then side AB is the terminal side. One more important note. Initial side means fixed side and terminal side means rotating side. Let us now learn types of angles. Take two rays, one magenta colored and the other orange colored. Here onwards, the magenta colored ray will be called as a fixed ray or initial ray and the orange colored ray will be called as a rotating ray or terminal ray. Now keep the rays upon each other. Name the common origin as vertex A. Now the magenta colored ray is named as ray AB and the orange colored ray is named as ray AC. Type 1 Zero angle. On keeping the two rays upon each other as shown on the screen, the angle is zero angle. So we define zero angle as an angle of 0 degrees is called 0 angle. Type 2 On rotating the terminal ray in anticlockwise direction, as shown on the screen, the angle formed is called as an acute angle. Here, we define acute angle as an angle greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees is called acute angle. Type 3 Right angle on rotating the terminal ray in anticlockwise direction as shown on the screen, the angle formed is called as a right angle. We define a right angle as an angle of 90 degrees is called a right angle. Type 4 Obtuse angle On rotating the terminal ray in anticlockwise direction as shown on the screen, the angle formed is called as an obtuse angle. We define an obtuse angle as an angle greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Type 5 Straight angle On rotating the terminal ray in anticlockwise direction as shown on the screen, the angle formed is called a straight angle. We define a straight angle as an angle of 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Type 6 Reflex angle. On rotating the terminal ray in anticlockwise direction as shown on the screen, the angle formed is a reflex angle. We define a reflex angle as an angle greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees is called a reflex angle. Type 7. Full or complete angle. On rotating the terminal ray in anticlockwise direction, as shown on the screen, the angle formed is called a full or complete angle. We define a full or complete angle as an angle of 360 degrees is called a full or complete angle. Now we will learn to draw an angle bisector using compass. Draw an angle of any measure, example angle PQR. Take a compass from the vertex Q 
draw arc of any convenient distance on the two sides of the angle PQR. Name the intersection of the arc and the sides as point A and point B. Again take any convenient distance and draw an arc from the point A and cut the arc from the point B. Name the intersection of the arcs as point S. Now draw ray QS. Here the ray QS is the angle bisector of angle PQR. Now we will learn how to draw an angle of equal measure to a given angle using a compass. Now draw an angle of any measure and name it as angle PQR. In the second figure, just draw a ray AB. Back again in the first figure, hold a compass and take any convenient distance. From the vertex Q, draw an arc on the two sides of angle PQR as shown in the video. Name the intersection of the arc and the sides as point T and point S. Now in the second figure, from the point A, draw an arc of the same distance on the ray AB as shown in the video. Name the intersection of the arc and the ray AB as point M. Now again in the first figure, place the compass on the point T and take a distance TS. Now back again in the second figure, from the point M, cut the previous arc using the distance TS. Name the intersection of the arcs as point N. Now draw a ray AN. Take a point C on the ray AN. Thus angle CAB and angle PQR are of equal measures. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Kit Classroom. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.